Before starting the video, I would like to tell you something about ibpsguide.com. In their website, they daily provide you with free questions which will help you boost your preparation of either banking examination or SSC examination. Also, you can check out their test series which has very high standard questions and also all the questions are accompanied by detailed solutions. Okay, so you don't have to wonder here and there for the solutions and also towards the end of the test, they provide you with analysis that how well you have performed which are the areas which you must work on also the tests are available in both the language that is hindi and english so you can switch between both the languages and it is accessible either on mobile application or desktop whichever suits you okay for more information about ibps guide quality mocks you can visit their e-store that is e-store.ibpsguide.com now let's move on to our video hello friends welcome to ibps guide in this particular video we'll be solving a memory based line and tabular graph bi which was asked in your sbi po pre 2018 exam on 1st July okay and you can expect similar type of question in your upcoming exam that is going to be held on 8th July 2018 okay so without wasting any time let's move on to this DI and I will tell you how to solve this particular DI effectively with minimum calculation so yeah aapka kya direction hai study the following graph carefully and answer the question given okay so the line graph shows the number of student applied for studying in abroad in different countries okay so this is a line graph and it is basically indicating the number of students who have applied okay for studying abroad in different countries so there are basically five countries a b c d and e okay aur isme kitne aapke student ne apply kiya hai to study abroad wo hame diya gaya jaise a ki agar baat kare to there are total 2000 students who have applied in country b total 3000 have applied likewise you can find for c d and e and here again the table is given table mein kya diya gaya hai aapko country ke naam diye gaye hain and rejected applicants now in the line graph they are giving us the total number of students who have applied and this tabular graph is giving us the total number of students who have rejected okay so in country a the total 400 students are rejected country b 300 are rejected likewise you can find for c d and e okay so if this is applied this is rejected if i ask you how can you find this selected the selected in country a for example will be equal to what applied in a okay applied in a minus what rejected in a okay so that will be equal to what in a total number of students who have applied is what 2000 and rejected is what 400 so 2000 minus 400 that is 1600 so you like this you can find the number of students selected in any country for higher studies okay so i think the line graph and the table graph is understood now let's move on to this question so the find the ratio between 45% of the selected applicants in country A and 60% of the selected applicants in country C. Okay, so we have to take the ratio between 45% of selected applicants in country A. So we have already found out that is equal to what 1600. Okay, now we have to take the ratio of uh, this 45% of 1600 to 60% of selected applicants in country C. Now in country C, total student who have applied is what 2500 or C may rejected kitne hota hai? 250. So in ko minus karenge, then I will get. 2250 right now this percentage will cancel this percentage 15 3 times 15 4 times so i will be left with and this zero will also cancel this zero so i will be left with 3 into 160 is equal to 4 into 225 okay now this 4 will cancel this one and this will become 40 now if you look at this particular option uh, here we have 3 into 40 and there is nowhere present the factor of 9 because agar main 120 dekhta hun, 120 को अगर फैक्टर करोगे तो आपको कभी भी 9 नहीं मिलेगा इसमें ओके तो अगर 9 नहीं है तो यहां पे ये कैसे पॉसिबल होगा सो ये आपका नहीं हो सकता ओके लाइकवाइज आई कैन से दैट कि अगर मैं इसको देखूं यहां पे ये कितना है 225 ओके 225 में कभी भी आपका 11 तो नहीं आ सकता 11 इज नॉट द फैक्टर ऑफ 225 सो दिस so option B मेरा answer हो जाएगा, okay? क्योंकि अगर कोई number को मैं cancel करूँगा, तो बाद में ये number बचने चाहिए ना, इसका मतलब ये क्या है, factor है उसके, तो factor तो हो ही नहीं रहा, 11 भी नहीं हो रहा, 13 भी नहीं हो रहा, 9 भी नहीं हो रहा, okay? और इस वाले में क्या है, 9 नहीं आ रहा था, तो only मेरा option क्या बच गया, B, so option B हो जाएगा, now question number 2 में क्या बोला, find the number of boys selected in country D, if the ratio of number of boys to girls applied is what, 7 is to 3, okay? so in country D, total applied is what, this 4000 okay now out of this 4000 seven part is your boy and three part is your girl so i can say that 10 part will be equal to what 4000 okay so one part will be 400 now this boy is what 28 because seven part hai so seven part kitna ho 2800 so boy is 2800 and then girls will be what 1200 okay now they are saying and the number of girls rejected for studying abroad in the country d is what 150 now if you look at this tabular di here we have this country d and total student who are rejected is 400 okay isme kya hoga aapka uh, 
बॉयज भी होगा एंड गर्ल्स भी होगा ठीक है ना नाउ आउट ऑफ दिस टोटल 150 फिफ्टी आर गर्ल्स ओके सो आई कैन सी दैट द बॉयज विल बी वॉट टू फिफ्टी द टोटल नंबर ऑफ बॉयज हु आर रिजेक्टेड फ्रॉम कंट्री डी इज वॉट टू फिफ्टी तो बॉयज मुझे मिल गया रिजेक्टेड वाले कितने हैं टू फिफ्टी ओके अप्लाइड करते हैं कितने बॉयज तो वो हमारे पास कितना है ट्वेंटी एट हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट हंड्रेड हर अप्लाइड एंड टू फिफ्टी आर रिजेक्टेड ओके नाउ दे आर आस्किंग फाइन द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज सेलेक्टेड सो सेलेक्टेड विल बी वॉट अप्लाइड माइनस दिस इज टू फिफ्टी अप्लाइड माइनस रिजेक्टेड सो दैट विल भी इक्वल टू वट इफ आई कैंसिल दिस बाई टू हंड्रेड दिस विल बिकम ट्वेंटी सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस फिफ्टी दैट विल भी टू फाइव फाइव जीरो दैट इज ऑप्शन सी हो जाएगा ओके नाउ थर्ड क्वेश्चन नाउ इन द थर्ड क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ सेलेक्टेड स्टूडेंट इन कंट्रीज ए एंड सी टूगेदर एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ सेलेक्टेड स्टूडेंट इन कंट्री बी एंड ई टूगेदर ओके सो वाइल फाइंडिंग द टोटल नंबर ऑफ सेलेक्टेड स्टूडेंट वट आई हैव टू डू टोटल स्टूडेंट हुव अप्लाइड माइनस टोटल स्टूडेंट हुव रिजेक्टेड इन बोथ ऑफ दीज टू कंट्रीज एंड अगेन वी हैव टू फाइंड द सेम फॉर दीज टू कंट्रीज ऑल्सो ओके नाउ द टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट हुव अप्लाइड इन ए एंड सी इज वट ए इज टू थाउजेंड एंड सी इज वट ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड सो टोटल बिल बी वट फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस टोटल रिजेक्टेड विल बी वट ए एंड सी आई हैव टू टेक दिस इज फोर हंड्रेड एंड दिस इज टू फिफ्टी टोटल सिक्स फिफ्टी ओके सो दिस विल गिव अस द टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट हुव सेलेक्टेड इन ए एंड सी टूगेदर नाउ वी हैव टू टेक द डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस विथ टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट हुव सेलेक्टेड फ्रॉम बी एंड ई टूगेदर नाउ टोटल हुव अपलाइड फॉर बी इज वट थ्री थाउजेंड एंड ई इज वट फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सो टोटल विल बी वट फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड इज अपलाइड फ्रॉम दीज टू कंट्रीज एंड रिजेक्टेड आर वट बी एंड ई इज हियर सो बी इज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड दिस इज वन ट्वेंटी सो टोटल फोर ट्वेंटी now i can directly say that this will be my highest value and this will be my lowest value because here we are subtracting from 650 isse ko 650 se minus kar rahe hain yahan 420 kar rahe hain ye aapka larger hai so this is your larger quantity and i have to subtract this 450 and minus minus kya ho jayega this will become 650 so this 4500 will cancel out and i will be left with what 650 minus 420 that will be equal to what this 50 will cancel this one this will become 630 630 minus 400 will be what 230 so option a ho jayega okay now in the fourth question find the average number of students selected to study abroad from all the countries together so we have to find the average of the number of students selected okay so how you are going to find out the total number of students selected from all the countries total applied minus total rejected okay divided by since we have to find the average and there are total five countries so we have to do like this total applied total applied will be what this is 2000 plus 3000 5000 okay plus 4000 9000 and this 2500 and 1500 is again 4000 so 9000 plus 4000 that is 13000 minus total rejected is what 400 700 950 okay 950 1350 and uh, 1470 so this is 1470 divided by 5 okay now we will simplify this and we will get our answer okay so we will separate this two so this is 13000 i can write this 13000 like this minus this is 147 into 10 Divided by five, okay. So five two times, and this will be equal to what? This is twenty times, okay. So thirteen into two is what? Twenty six. So twenty six hundred minus this will be equal to what? Two ninety four, okay. So if I subtract these two, I will get what? Two three zero six as my answer. So in this case, answer is what? Option D, okay. So you can see that all the four questions which are asked in this particular DI are very easy if you are uh, well acquainted with the graphs that they have provided, okay. If you have understood the graphs, what is the graph? What is the information? And how to select it? How to remove it? Then you can easily solve it with minimum time. 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 Minimum